It's what's fascinating about it is the speed with which data specific to consumer sentiment or individual sentiment is being aggregated gives insights into how people think and operate more so than it was ever possible before. Expl so like, break it apart. So, so, so to give you an idea, what I mean by that is that now, for example, one of the startups, NWO, is, 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 is like, I, I like to kind of say like the eye of Sauron, you know, it, it, it focuses on sentiment data and it okay. takes that to try to figure out what's going to happen on certain trends going forward. And it's aggregated, you know, petabytes of information circling around all social aspects. And it's, you know, it, there's a gravitational force that the loudest voices tend to have. And so it's becoming increasingly, the more data that gets aggregated, the more precise it's becoming to be able to anticipate how certain trends are going to evolve. It's not always about money. Mm -hmm. So now we've started to use that with one of the Ukrainian ministries and in their Center for Strategic Communications to help mitigate some of the misinformation that's being generated within social media. From a hyper-local standpoint, you can find where certain mm -hmm. ideas are originating and, and how it's then, and then we are able to I map see. how it's spreading.